Hi guys, it's Shell with Creative Shell Bear Little Acres Creations and today we are going to make another Christmas card using my stamp set piece. I just love this stamp set. <laughs> uh, this is available at my store littleacrescreations.com so head on over if you're interested in this and let's get started. Okay, so I have my base. I'm going to go ahead and Fold it. So what I did for my base is I took an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and cut it down the center at five and a half, and then that will give you two card bases. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to set that aside. These are two um, A2 card bases. I'm just going to use one today. I have some yellow that I'm going to use as a border, as a frame, and then we're going to work on this piece, and then we'll put our card all together. Okay, let's put our images here. Now don't worry about covering these up. We're going to do some paper piecing. And this is just going to give me a guideline of how I want to bring in the blending. So, have that one there. And then we're going to put the little Christ in a manger down here at the bottom. Okay. It's a little bit crooked, but that'll be okay because, like I said, we're going to cover all that up. Now, to clean these stamps, you just want to either use a wet paper towel or just use a baby wipe to clean them. I'm going to let that dry for just a little bit. I did use VersaFine Onyx Black ink. It is a pigment ink, so it does take a little longer to dry. You can hit it with your heat tool. Or just kind of wave it around just because it does and you can see like a little bit of shine on it if you kind of turn it I'm gonna heat that with my heat tool just to dry it real quick okay so I got that good and dry so now I'm gonna take some distress inks let me show you the ones I'm gonna use I'm gonna use mustard seed wild honey for blue, I'm going to use Mermaid Lagoon, and then to finish it off, I'm going to use my um, black soot, and I'm going to use my dauber, we do, or my ink blender. We do use these. We do sell these in the store. So the first one I'm going to start with is the lightest color, so I'm going to use the mustard seed. Now the blenders, they do just use the little... Um, sponge refills and what I do is I just put a piece of velcro on the bottom and then when I'm done it just stays there until I'm ready to use it again so go check these out if you are interested if you have hand dexterity problems if you have arthritis or something then these are so nice for you we sell a lot of them for people with arthritis or you know hands that give them a problem Okay, so now I'm going to use the mustard seed, and I just want quite a bit on my little sponge. <clears throat> I'm going to get just a piece of paper over here to the side, prevent my hand from getting too much, too much ink on it. I can find just a little piece over here. Okay. And that will protect my fingers. They're already kind of getting black. And the less I get on my fingers, the better. Okay, so my idea is to have like a bright yellow. Kind of like, I think if you saw the star of Bethlehem, that you would have, that it would be so bright under it. So I'm thinking, my, my idea here was that it would be really bright around the baby Jesus. So that's where I came up with this idea. And I'm just going to have it totally cover the, um, you know, kind of just glow, like it's glowing. So I'm just gonna continue doing that and I'm gonna put some music on so you guys don't have to <laughs> watch me do this it does take quite a while just because you end up putting on so much ink so see you guys in a little bit
<laughs> okay, I'm not sure where I got that from. That's okay, we're just going to make it work. <laughs> so I have this little mistake. I'm sure you can see it right across. Okay, so we're going to see how it looks when we're done. Might try to blend it just a little bit more in that area. Nope. Kind of highlights it more than. Let's we'll see what it looks like. I really don't want to have to do that over, and I don't know what I did. <laughs> So now I'm going to take some white, just acrylic paint that you pick up like at Walmart or someplace. And we're going to thin that out. And what we're going to do is kind of make some stars. I'm going to thin that out really well. The thinner it is, the smaller your stars are, and I really want little teeny stars back in the in the background. So I'm going to try this and see. And I just use any paintbrush and just kind of tap it. See how you have your stars? Kind of get some down here and my little mistake there. <laughs> this does kind of make a mess, but it's such a cute um, design. I guess I don't really need them down here on the bottom. Okay, so, and that's our little stars. So I'm gonna set this aside. Go ahead and kind of wipe the bottom part because I really didn't want um, stars down there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set this aside and we're going to finish up the rest of our little um, piece here. Okay, so I have this yellow. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp my star. And this one we're going to emboss. So I'm going to use my Versamark. And then I'm going to use gold embossing powder. Okay, so now I'm going to just add some dimensions to our little star here. So I'm just going to our paint's pretty dry, so I'm going to put this up here. Isn't that so cute? So, well, I cut out the star. I stamped on three different colors of paper, and we're just going to do some paper piercing or er, piecing here. And I just have some art glitter glue, and I'm just going to kind of cover the this little piece right here. With some art glitter glue. And then we're just gonna piece it. It's kind of fiddly. 
but I think it'll be really cute. So get his little face down. Then we'll come back with his little outfit. Swaddling, swaddling clothes, I think is what they call it. Make sure I have enough. Okay. On this one, I'm going to go ahead and put the brown down first. I'm going to try to just kind of straighten it up just a touch. And then I'll come back with the hay right there. Isn't that cute? And it kind of dresses it up and makes it a little bit fancier. Now I still have the problem of <laughs> my little issue there. But when you put so much work into it, you kind of want to um, just figure out an, a way to cover that up. Which is good because, you know... <laughs> If you're like me, you really don't want to spend tons of time and not, and then have a huge mess, and then you think, oh, I need to throw it away, but there's always a way to fix it. Okay, so we're almost done. Okay, so let me show you what I have. I have Wink Estella, and this is just a clear uh, glitter pen. And when I thought of this, I thought, you know, it's got to be shiny and stuff, because I just feel like that's just the way it would be. You know, just a shimmery, shiny. That's just what I imagine. Excuse me, that would be. Okay, so I have that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go through right where the yellow is and just kind of put streaks. Just down into the thing. And you can kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see all the glitter you see that? There you go, right there. I just thought that would add a little bit to the card. Kind of like surround the Christ child with... Isn't that cute? I love that. Okay, so now... I wasn't sure what, I'm gonna, what I was going to put, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the sentiment Christ our Savior is born and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use that to kind of cover up this area right here so I think I'm going to use some okay so I'm going to use some zing embossing powder and I am going to emboss this sentiment on some black so again I'm going to use my Versamark I think this will be really pretty I'm just going to come up here in the center. Now when you're doing embossing powder, if you'll put it like on a folded sheet of paper, it will help you put it back into your little container here. I'm going to heat emboss that and I'll be right back. Now I had some little strays on the embossing. Let me show it to you. Because I didn't use a powder bag because I still don't have one. <laughs> so I used some little uh, strays, or I just left the strays. And to me that looks kind of like um, stars. I thought that would be really cute. And I'm okay with that. If you didn't want those, then be sure and use a powder bag. So I'm just going to just cut that out like that. Let's see if I can make it straight here. And then I'm going to pop that right there, and that will help cover up that little mistake that I have. Okay, and that's going to fit right here. I'm going to slip it just under the star. And our card front is now done. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down onto the yellow, our little yellow border. And 
that is the card for today. What do you guys think? I love all the techniques of the ink blending, so I've been playing with those quite a bit. And I love that this has the shimmery and, you know, from the Wink of Stella and stuff. I just think it's really cute. So again, come on over and visit us at Little Acres Creations on Facebook. We are um, until the end of the month. Any Christmas card that you make will be entered into a challenge for $10 for a $10 gift code to use in my store. Uh, again, this stamp set is available now. It's $12.99 and we do ship internationally. And here's the stamp set again. So, and I will put a, I'll put a link uh, below. I hope you join us and I'd love to see any and all of your creations. Thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a great day.